If you make passion your profession, then you are bound for tremendous success in your career. This was told to me early in my life and that's what I did. And today I'm here to tell you about something similar, but in bioinformatics. So today's video is about how to get started with bioinformatics as a beginner. Now I'm going to give you some practical tips and tricks, which if you follow, you can become a master of bioinformatics. First things first, please don't watch this video just because you feel bioinformatics has scope. Watch this video if you have genuine interest to know how bioinformatics can enhance and accelerate your research because that's what it does, correct? All right, so to start with, let us understand what exactly bioinformatics is. As per Wikipedia or various websites, you must have checked, it's called interdisciplinary field where biology, statistics or mathematics and computer science comes together to make a difference. Many students get scared that if I go for bioinformatics then I need to know advanced mathematics or I need to know computers and that is where the misconception is. So in today's video I'm going to remove all those misconceptions but also give you practical tips. Now let us start with the basics. Understanding the foundation, the basics is very important. So understand the basics of biology and as well as understand the basics of computer science, right? So both you will have to learn. Most students think that you need to do a professional degree in bioinformatics to become a master well that may not be true if you have the passion you have already done whatever masters and if you have the passion you can self-learn or take help of people who have a grip of bioinformatics and they will teach you the basics so strengthen your knowledge of molecular biology genetics genomics as these are the foundation of bioinformatics now followed by that learn the basics of programming what are those python r java Perl. now these are again the foundations of bioinformatics now followed by that you should familiarize yourself with the bioinformatics tool and that is why i always insist it's just not that you should know the concepts of biology or computer science you should also know the tools because ultimately you're going to use these tools now there are more than 31 different open source tools and probably five to seven closed source tools so you know you must be knowing open source and closed source but now start with commonly used tools such as the basic local alignment search tool called as blast for sequence alignment and visualization tools like uc sc genome browser or ensemble now apart from that you can also learn to use command line tools such as bioconductor biopython and sam tools now how do you do that just google out on youtube you'll find tutorials if you want a clearer picture of course you can always enroll into biotechnica's internships where you don't just learn the tricks but also do projects with us and of course get a work experience letter with our Swedish partners. Now let's come back to the video. The third point will be learning programming tools, right? Remember coding for biologist initiative which Biotechnica has? That's exactly what you need for beginning your career in bioinformatics, right? So you need to learn Python, you need to learn R and uh, they're very beginner friendly. It's not like, it's just like a regular English language, okay? So you extensively used in bioinformatics for data analysis, visualization and bioinformatics pipelines. So you can learn Python and R. Now you'll have to practice because just learning the theory is not enough. So you have to practice regularly on Biotechnica's platform and various bioinformatics tutorials are there which will provide you and then you can learn. So as a beginner, of course, that helps. The fourth point I would like to say is gaining proficiency with working for databases. As you know, bioinformatics is all about libraries and databases. So explore the biological databases such as NCBI, EMBL, EBI, Uniprot to understand how biological data is organized and how how it is retrieved. So all that you should learn. Now followed by that, you should practice querying these databases, retrieving data relevant to your research interest and how to interpret it. All of that you should learn. So this is the fourth point. Moving ahead, you should now learn and experiment with real life data. And that is where our Biotechnica projects comes into picture. So basically, there are two ways to learn bioinformatics. One is I teach you and you learn. Another is you make mistakes and you learn. And the third is you learn from other people's mistakes, right? So I think the second and the third one is better. So what we do is, we have pharma company from Sweden, which is partnered with Biotechnica. So we are doing the research for them, but they agreed that 5% of their research can be used for corporate social responsibility. So students can learn. Okay. So you can enroll in our bioinformatics winter internship 
and then you can learn these tools and you can work on actual data which is being generated by our uh, you know experiments and uh, which we are doing and then you can use this data set and you can use the ncbis geo or ebis rs express to practice analyzing raw biological data and then you can start with something small manageable data set and you build on the top of it taking larger projects in biotechnica itself and you can get a job within biotechnica if you become a experienced bioinformatician in this particular field once you have learned with this project that you should publish papers also that's something which uh, you should target always because when you publish paper it has immense employment opportunities in industry as well as academia because it builds your reputation as a scientist okay now next step would be mastering the command line interface now you have to learn the basics of linux and unix commands as many bioinformatics tools even today are designed on to run on these systems you, you should uh, learn how to use linux or unix command systems now you should have familiarity with shell scripting also so that you can automate repetitive tasks and save a lot of time when you are working on these tools so that's something we ha you have to learn and of course all of this will be taught to you when you enroll in our internship and projects now the next step would be taking help of the online resources which biotechnica has built and the tutorials we have so we have as of now 14 scientists working on our swedish project three of them at any point in time are always available so those three only are available for you to work on your projects okay so these projects can be done online or offline you can enroll in our course and then you can become a specialization you can take a specialization in bioinformatics and you can watch these video recordings as well as live interactions and you can talk to a scientist on a daily basis face to face get your projects onboarded and then you learn wherever you get stuck the scientists will guide you and then you use all the bioinformatics tools which I told you remembered around 31 open source tools that you have to use and then you have to develop a problem solving and analytical skill and that is why I said project is required see if it was just a training you know once the training is over you are still back to square one because you don't know how to implement right when you're doing a project you know how to implement and this improves your problem solving and analytical skill so you have to practice framing biological question into computational problems so if it's a molecular biology question how would you interpret it in a computer manner that analytical ability you have to develop and then you have to work on solving challenges such as those found on rosalind.info uh, or various other websites to develop confidence in applying bioinformatics knowledge into the real world experiments okay and now that you have done that like i told you you have to publish your work document your work use uh, tools like git or github to document your projects and scripts and this not only helps you stay organized but also helps you build a portfolio which you can present to your future employers as well now you have to engage in collaborative projects also that's what i said the swedish project is a collaborative project you can contribute to the open source bioinformatics tools also to gain practical experience you have to stay updated with what kind of jobs are being posted on biotechnica regularly for bioinformatics so when you see that okay the job is being posted for this particular technique in bioinformatics go back learn that and then apply tailor make your resume your chances of getting uh, successful is very high otherwise you can always take out help of the placement cell of biotechnica so all the students of biotechnica who are enrolled gets a chance to sit for the placements and our team will help you get job in various other bioinformatics companies globally so this is all about the bioinformatics how to get started into bioinformatics as a beginner but i'm sure i must have left a lot of questions unanswered so i would like to invite all of you to go ahead post your questions in the comment section i'll try my best to answer them as quickly as possible if not i'll definitely make a video for you all so thank you so much for watching this video it was really fun interacting with all of you i'll see you soon in the next one but till then stay subscribed all the best